assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel so today's video is on how to make this stylish hijab i don't even know what to call it um and if you just been my channel for the first time don't forget to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to be notified for more videos um so for this tutorial i'm going to be working with 60 inches by 45 inches fabric so about one year to one meter fabric then i have my table my scissors then my cuff wool so the first thing i'm going to do is to fold my fabric into two and since the length of the fabric is by 60 i'm just folding so i have the 60 length there so i folded at the 45 inches part so i have the length 60 length so for my front hijab length i want it to be 25 and then for the back length i want it to be 35 so i'm just going to remove 25 there i'm going to check that all around So I'll just connect the points and I'm going to cut it out. So I have the longer piece and then the shorter piece. So I'm just going to place the shorter piece on the longer one. That is the 35, the 25 inches on the 35 inches. So the front on the back. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my X circumference measurement. So my X circumference is 20. Then I'm just going to divide it by 4, which will give me 5. Then I'm going to add 1 inch similar ones. So that's 6 inches. So this is for those that actually doesn't want elastic in their whole hijab. But for me, I'm going to be including elastic. So I'm just going to make mine 8 inches. I'm going to add 2 inches more for me to be able to fix my elastic in. I prefer my hijab with elastic sometimes. It makes me more comfortable. So from that place, I'm just going to mark 15 inches diagonal line. But for those that doesn't really know how to mark it, you can just take in 8 inches from that point, then come down by 10 inches. That's if you want your hijab to be exactly the same way with mine. So from there, you're just going to slant your tape to that 10 inches point. And that should give you 15 inches. So you just connect the points. You don't even need to go through this stress. You just plant your tape to the 15 inches and just, just mark it. Then from there, I'm just going to make a curve to the edge of the front space. From the 15 inches point. After which I'm just going to cut it out. And we should note I haven't connected the back piece. So we have to be careful with our cutting. So for the 15 inches point, I'm going to cut the fabrics together. That is the front and the back piece together. Then when I get to the 15 inches point, I'm just going to raise my front piece up. And I'm going to cut that alone. I don't want to cut in my back piece. So this is for the front piece of our hijab now. And I'm just going to put it aside. Then from the 15 inches point, I'm going to make a curve line to the edge of the back piece also. I'm just going to make a curve line. After which I'm just going to cut it out. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to place my front piece on my back piece and then I'm going to stitch it. So I just stitch to the 15 inches point. Then I have my jab opening. 
So if you actually cut your whole normal hijab opening, you don't have to go through this. But because mine is wider, I want to attach elastic to mine. So I'm just going to come to the hijab opening, the face opening plus, and I'm going to take nine inches, which is my hijab cap measurement. Then from the nine inches point, I'll mark it at the other side also. Then from one marked point to the other marked point, I'm just going to create an elastic opening there for me to be able to fix my elastic in. So I'm just going to make an elastic opening. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch a little, about one inch. So I did that already, I have my elastic opening. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to take my elastic and using my pin, I'm just going to fix my elastic in. And the elastic length is about three inches. So if your hair is wider than mine, you can use four inches. So I'm just going to pass my elastic in. And for those that doesn't know what head circumference means or how to take it, you just take a tape around your face opening and that will be for your head circumference. So I'll just pass it after which I'm going to stitch both sides to secure my elastic. Well, I did that already, I have my elastic. So the next thing is just to fix my hijab cap. I'm sorry, I think my camera stopped recording. So I missed the hijab cap cutting part. Please check my other videos on that. And for the hijab string, the tie back string there is about 15 inches by 1.5 inches. So I just hold it to form two strings. So I have two pieces of it. So what I just did is just to join it to the edge of the hijab cap there before attaching my hijab to my hijab cap. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to take the midpoint. I'm going to mark it. After which I'm going to attach it to my hijab piece. I'm going to mark the midpoint there also. And I'm going to attach it right side facing each other. If you don't really get the hijab cap cutting parts, you can drop it in the comment section. And I will just try to make another video on that. So I'll just attach my hijab cap to my hijab piece. So I've done that already. So we're almost done. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to form the side plate. And to form the side plate, I'm going to come down at that joint part by 9 inches. Then at the other side also, I'm going to take 9 inches. Just going to mark nine inches there too. So I'm just going to form pleats from the down part to the nine inches point. And I'm forming about three to four pleats. So I'll just go ahead and form my pleats. So when I get to the nine inches point, then I'm just stopping. So I'll do the same to the other side also. Then after forming my plate, the next thing I'm going to do is just to hem the hijab edges. So I'm just going to hem the down part of the hijab. So I hem the down parts.
And this is the finished look of a hijab. So that's the front part. The side plates. The double hijab cap. The elastic opening. And then this is the back parts. So this is just me trying it on. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, don't forget to tap the subscribe button. And don't forget to tap the notification bell also so you can be notified when I post a new video. So, and if you have any question, don't forget to drop it in the comment section. And if you have suggestions for the channel also. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, inshallah. Bye.